It was a time that required heroes, and Douglas MacArthur was there. With the pomp and grandeur of a Roman general, he led us to spectacular victories. He showed mercy to a conquered people and defiance to an American president. He was proud, vain, and impossible. People of the Philippines, I have returned. MacArthur, the warrior, has returned. I will not leave. I'll stay here with my boys. I need him. The country needs him. We can't leave him to the Japanese. Where'd they go, Daddy? How did Shakespeare put it? The general's wife is the general's general. I came through. And I shall return. General, sir! Excuse me, sir, but we just... We just killed a sniper here not five minutes ago. Sorry, son. That's the best thing to do with him. The most malignant scourge and greatest sin of mankind can no longer be controlled, only abolished. This is the military genius, the proud and defiant rebel. It's my destiny to defeat communism, and only God or those Washington politicians will keep me from doing it. You hear that? Appeasement to Peterism. Now, that's me he's talking about. Alvin, can you explain why he's done this? I think that Incheon will finish the North Koreans. It'll never be approved. How could it not be approved? What do you think of His Majesty's plan? It's daring, it's brilliant, and it's dangerous. He says there are 260,000 Chinese out there against him. What does Truman mean by calling this a police action? That man's trying to start World War III, and I'm trying to prevent it. And that is part of the dangerous concept that men of the armed forces owe their primary allegiance to these temporary occupants of the White House instead of to the country and the Constitution we're sworn to defend. Who the hell does he think he is? God? Now, what do you think Congress would do if I relieve the big general? We're going home at last. He was daring, brilliant, some say even dangerous and he changed the face of the world forever. Gregory Peck is MacArthur.